it'll rip the cover right off that diff if it goes frontwards or backwards it'll dig in there's not enough room in the world to do any of that stuff though dang it man dang it dang it man you got me on this one i don't know I was in two-wheel drive and fish tailed and went right in there. Uh, I'm it out, man. I'm guessing both ends probably, right? Yes, sir. Oh. Well, I don't know that I can get around you. You remember me, man? You helped me up before in that avalanche, remember? I think so. You had to bust the thing under the thing? Yeah. Right here, the, the flat tire on the... Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, I do remember that. You're still at it then. Oh yeah, man, strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fishtail right in there, man, and then and then I couldn't make a move, man. That other tire slid right in there, man. Just got right off in yeah, there. I know it's the bad thing. I don't, I don't really, I don't even have. I can't even pull it sideways because I don't have. I wonder if I could get close enough to get. I don't know if I could fit in here to get the back end first and then move forward and get the front end. You got about, you got about to about right. Well, that tree, man, that tree. Yeah, that tree's gonna hold you up. And then them people been trying to get out. They done backed up and went back to their cabin. <laughs> they said, nah, I can't make it. I can't make it. Um, dang it, man. Dang it, dang it. Or maybe I could get the front picked up and put over there and then try to do this with the floor jack, but... Ooh. So what if... What if you back as close to his front end as you can? You ran a snatch block to this tree over here and pull him backwards. It, it's going to have to come up. It won't come back. It'll just dig into that. Okay. So it'll have to be picked up. It'll rip the cover right off that diff. If it goes frontwards or backwards, it'll it'll dig in. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be my thing is trying to golly, there's probably there's not enough room in the world to do any of that stuff though. Even if I come, I might be able to get I might be able to get off in here a little bit. Enough room to get his back end and then me still sitting here. I don't know that that's possible. You learn run out of space real quick up here. Man, you got me on this one. I don't know. I've got a fair amount of blocks. I just don't know how, wonder how muddy it is over there, how much it would sink if I even put some blocks over there. That seems pretty solid, doesn't it? Yeah. That's better than what I thought it would be. Well. I wonder if getting his front up would pull that up just enough so that his dip wasn't dragging. It might. I just, I, I just, I think if I got up here beside it, it'd be, it's too risky. I don't think there's enough room for me to scoot you over into me if I'm here. <laughs> yeah, let me try to deal with the front first and then we'll try to deal with the back off of a jack. very good question just close enough where I'm not tearing up his bumper we'll try that. Uh, I'll, tr I'll just try that one the other one's in the ditch so and I'll be lifting this front Yeah, probably.
as hard as you can. The battle. <laughs> if I build him a, if I build him a ramp, he might be able to ease forward. Yeah, if he wants to ever so slightly. Okay, he's going to low. Okay. Yeah. So slightly. Keep it. Uh, you'll probably want to. Yeah, keep it that way for now. Yes. And just ever so slightly, see if it'll climb these boards. He's good, he's good. Yep, yep, you got it, you got it. That's okay, the trailer will be okay. Yeah, he's got it, he's got it. Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. Good deal. Well, I don't believe it, but it worked. Somehow it worked. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know. I still smell smoke. Oh, oh problem. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad it wasn't any worse. I can't believe that it actually came out of there. Well, it's uh, it's deep. Okay, guys. Um, where we were. I'm on. Yeah, that was kind of a limited. I think I'm still in four wheel drive. Probably. Carter Town Road. God, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely still in four wheel drive. <laughs> Sometimes you got to back up to release that four wheel drive. But I've been to that driveway a few times. And then of course our ice excursion. You guys remember this road for the uh, for the ice. We had the officer stuck. We had several people stuck. I had the flamethrower out. If you can even see the road, not yet. <laughs> there it is. Sometimes it's hard to uh, see the road over the hood. But anyway, yeah, that driveway gets a little tricky. And like he said, he was pulling up and, and it just went sideways on him because he was backing up and it, uh, a hats off to that guy backing up that mountain with a trailer. He did a very good job. Yes. And uh, I couldn't imagine doing it, but super, super hardworking guy. We, we met this guy probably a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah. Um, had a flat tire, the spare wouldn't come down. We ended up cutting the cable so we could get him on his way uh, because it was just, yeah, he was the same. He had his truck and 
his trailer and his landscape and stuff so towing it just wasn't it wasn't going to help fast the fast help was to cut the cut the thing and get his spare tire available because the, the the tool was broken or something but anyway a super hard working guy this he's uh, definitely got his work cut out for him up here in these mountains trying to haul a, a lawn equipment and big belly mowers and landscaping is a big deal up here in the mountains a lot of people like to have very nice landscape and it's very difficult to keep it that way because it is the mountains they do a very good job around here and you know, like i said we're back over to carter town right about here was the scene of the catastrophe for ice we were easing down this hill right here they were coming out of this part right here to the right orchard lane and they were coming out of that and then just yeah as soon as they hit this corner right here it was all ice all the way to the school bus <laughs> so yeah this is a crazy road right here for sure if you guys are in town off 321 heading for whatever reason out into the country lots of cool sights to see but just be careful this is down here also is where the um, the big RV was hung up on the on the side road that he tried to turn on to yeah that one was crazy they had to get a big rotator in from Knoxville it just was way too much for me to way too much liability not trying to tear something up right there was the okay. rv yeah, yeah i tried to turn up that gravel road from this direction and it just did not they've got they've since put a little four by four wall there i don't know what that's looks like he's going to backfill it with gravel to give some swing room maybe might help but uh beautiful day 66 degrees spring brakes are still in full swing ponies uh, in the smokies this weekend yeah ponies in the smokies which I'd love to go out and chit chat with some guys and get the Mustang out, but uh, I don't know if I'll get to or not. It's still in need of some things. And uh, we had a Corvette show this past week, last weekend, and it's just back-to-back -back shows, guys. Always something fun to do around here. Always a, a an event or a show happening every week, every weekend, every weekday. If you've got your event scheduled at some point in time for 2024 have a good time here in the mountains and we'll see you on the next job okay guys late night at the lot look at the moon it's almost a full moon gosh what is it it's like almost three o'clock morning 242 242 got a pd call in this awesome little thing it's pretty tore up i'm not sure what happened there it looked like they come around the corner and took out uh, a little bit of the city's property there a guardrail a, or a fence and a sign and and somehow managed to drive it from the end of town all the way back to the middle of town paid to park and that's where we picked it up was in a paid parking lot I'm not sure how it uh that had to have sounded awful going back but uh crazy maybe i'll cruise back down to the end of town to show you guys the scene of the accident down there and i don't know it was just kind of interesting that that it made it from there back to a paid parking lot and uh i think uh the sidewall that tire i think the gal guy gal i'm not sure what even who but uh they went to jail windshields cracked so i'm not sure if somebody hit the windshield i don't see any airbag deployment airbags are intact but it's uh I don't know. It's kind of rough shape. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I'll show you guys where it happened. Okay, guys. Uh, coming in around this corner, you can see there's uh, one little missing arrow. Huh, yellow arrow that's down. Apparently, he or she come around this corner a little too crazy and for us to turn. Because right there is... Wow, a lot of that. That's crazy. They got into that concrete wall, too. I didn't even see that. So hit the sign, hit the pole, knocked down the metal fencing, and got into the concrete barrier. Not bad. That's a little crazy. Anyway, that'll be a. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's anchored into the to the concrete there, so maybe it'll be a, an easier fix for the city. But. Uh, I guess she's on the hook for some 
some repairs. I was told she didn't have any insurance as well, so. That's not good. Those are always lovely, no insurance. And then, that's kind of crazy stuff. But anyway, hey, Gatlinburg is doing an amazing job. They're washing the streets right now. That's why they're all wet, it did not rain. Uh, they do a really good job of keeping everything up, clean, and beautiful over here even in the wee hours of the morning. So anyway, we're gonna head on back and uh, wait for the next one. So stick around, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're over in Pigeon Forge. We've got an RV that's done the, done the thing. Turn left onto Florence Drive, Keegan Drive try to get up something uh, steep and has bottomed out. So probably be just a simple lift and pull. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Got the road all tore up over here doing weird things. So this is an interesting area to be called for because it's mostly like residential stuff over here, but there are a few rental cabins up here on the left across from these apartments. It looks like that's where we're going. Yeah, I think there's five or six of these cabins that should be a four-way stop i don't know why it's not i can't see around that corner until the last minute i think we've been up here doing uh, done a winch out once before there it is in all its glory hanging out your destination is on the left Hi there, thanks, Hello. Thanks Hello. for coming so quick. Yeah, yeah. No I feel like the biggest jack wagon in the world here. Uh, um, rented uh, this 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 cat cabin and I tried to pull in and of course uh, I just got over the hump and uh, the receiver hitch bottomed out on the yeah. road. And on the side. There's no limited slip in here I am with my education. Oh no, it's <laughs> it, ha it happens all the time. With really? the, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's just the slope of all of this stuff makes it yeah, It's usually U-Haul trucks and, and campers and mm -hmm. We've got with some bigger coach buses and things like that. It has happened too, so yeah, yeah. it happens. I'm like, what the hell was I even thinking that was going to clear? No, no, it's okay. It happens I, all the time. I think all I need is to just, just just a little tug back. Yeah. Okay. It, it's, and as soon as I can get you know the pressure off uh, the rear hitch, I think I'll be good. It'll come back. Yeah. Okay. okay. All righty. I'll probably... This car on. Yeah. yeah. We'll get some vests and some cones and stuff. Thank so you guys so yes. much. Yes, will. kids. <laughs> that makes some kids happy today. Yeah. Makes some people unhappy. Yeah. We'll definitely want a vest. There you go. They might be able to go. No, there's not a go around. I, I'm sorry? I started oh. to say they might go in and go around, but I don't think there's a no. back entrance to this. I have to be super careful doing that because there's kids over there in that apartment complex. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be just fine. Uh, thank you so much for being able to get out here. Yeah, man, yeah. I was playing around trying to get a little traction. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do some pretty dangerous stuff sometimes. Uh, and then before you know it, you're getting run over and in the that, grass. That's my biggest fear. Oh my god. I like this. You just can't wait five minutes. No, they, they won't. They won't. Um, I tried. Will this thing fold down? I don't want to get it with your. Uh, oh, sure. I because I'm, I'm just going to lift. That way okay. we're. We're okay with the... Yeah. 
gonna hand that back to you so I don't lose it. <laughs> We've had some that had some septic lines and things like that that you don't want to <laughs> drag on to. So you're back in here. Running, running, running this thing too, so I, I can't even tell you. So probably what we'll do is if I'll just go ahead and put you in it. Yep. If you just want to uh, oh, to go neutral and yep. then just be ready with the brake. I'm gonna go just a little more because it's still dug in. Um, let me lift up a little bit before he lets off. There you go. Now you can come back just a little bit. Yeah, I think he'll be free there. I'll get out of his way. Chris is going to get some treat bags going for the kiddos. Compliments of YouTube family. Thank you guys. Let's see if we can I really dug that thing in. There we go. Get everything put back up. I think it'll go. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got some we got some fans on the porch. Awesome. Good deal. Hey, there's four kids up there. Okay. I, you, I think there's an intersection down there you could probably turn around in and come back up. Just right down over the hill there is, yeah. Let's see if I can grab some YouTube family fun. You guys send it and Kristen does an amazing job on packing it up in these, these little containers. So, How many kiddos we got up here? We got four of them. We got four of them. Four. I got some candy if you guys oh, don't care. Man, that's what I used to do. Want some candy? Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Do you have any recommendations on where we should this You're welcome. You guys want some candy? Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. We got any more back there? You just do this. One for extra. Everybody's fears. Like, it, I'm, telling you, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, we do you. because we get. Uh, yeah, the kiddos are kind of traumatized. Oh yeah, we had tears right away. So it, it helps. It helps, especially when people are off the road. So, but yeah. Have you had to do this? <laughs> uh, we've. Yeah, I've been to this driveway a few times, and I've been all over the county. Yeah. They're. Uh, end up parking like do we try to contact that complex over there and see if we can park in their grass or what um i don't know that you'll get a hold of anybody over there do we just do it for the best there's um gosh i'd hate you don't have another vehicle either do you no. oh my goodness so you're gonna have to keep it close i would say you could try to find a, a uh, yeah a parking lot downtown or something like that but then you you're so far away from everything that uh i'm wondering like do we try to pull in next to that semi if I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you to, to either way, but what I would do if I was you, if you had to do something like that, is leave a note with okay. your phone number. Exactly. That way, if there is an issue, they can call you and say, come and move it. Please don't call somebody. Yeah, don't call the tow truck. Call you first. Yeah, that's what we run into a lot is people won't, and then they don't know who to call. And then before you know it, a tow truck comes and it's, yeah. But uh, that's what I would recommend. I don't know. Yeah, street side parking is not. I'm sure you can't park in the road. Yeah, it's it's not. That wouldn't be a good idea. In the grass there. Yeah. Two other big trucks parked there. Like. Yeah, just just be careful of the soft grass too. I've had some people sink. I wonder. Pretty. If that would be our problem. But yeah, um, but yeah, whatever you do, leave a note. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're welcome, man.
Okay guys, uh, got the RV finished up there. Um, lots of people ask me for, uh, you know, what should I do kind of things. And I don't, I'm not, I don't want to give any advice out on, uh, <laughs> it's something that could possibly get you into trouble there. That's obviously you guys know the area, so it's hard to find places to park bigger things like that without being on somebody else's property. And, uh, you know, so the only two pieces of advice I was willing to give was don't park it in the grass cause you might sink. Uh, and uh, if you do park it someplace that's questionable, leave a note. Maybe that might help you. But I'm not telling you where to park it. And uh, <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yes. <laughs> I, I hate that. You know, you you bring, and I understand because we've we've traveled that way before, and it's just mm -hmm. it's fun to have the whole family family with you in an RV, and you you know everybody's together, and you get to one destination. But uh, our area is tricky when it comes to that stuff. You know, if you're not towing a, a small car to to get around. Uh, yeah, that family's going to have a hard time having they fun. They are. They really are. Unless they so, just plan to stay there. If, if you're coming in something like that, guys, you might tow. You might tow something that's uh, that's smaller that you can get around in because you're not going to be able to park. All of our places are tight squeeze. All our parking lots are crazy. Mm -hmm. um, even even getting to their cabin or have your rental plan. Once you get here, go rent one of the UTVs. Exo Rent yeah. is a really awesome company. Uh, he helps us out uh, quite a bit with with rental car. We send a lot of stuff, but he's got. Uh, the UTVs and uh, cars and vans and he's got all kinds of stuff over here right down in Pigeon Forge so if you guys are looking for a good time on one of those give uh, give uh, Crispin a call uh, XO Rent. I am uh, headed back out to the parkway here guys it is it's in full swing man uh, we, we tried to go over to the grocery store and uh, I couldn't even get into the grocery store yeah, no that wouldn't happen spring break we had uh, ponies in the Smokies here Mustangs were in full swing and and uh, everybody else here for for spring break it is crazy it's crazy and it's cold it's 48 degrees big difference between yesterday yesterday was very nice it's beautiful yesterday downtown lots of cars and folks out having a good time we've got a lot of cool things we've got a new hotel that has went up in gatlinburg that made the news uh, a lot of people that said that we we're gonna check in and uh, try that place out it's all over off of uh, airport road i believe it is yeah and uh, we had a uh, another big uh, piece of information on a on a 900 acre off road slash bicycle course that's coming in. Uh, I believe uh, Anakista's kind of expanding their their thing there. So that was a bit of crazy news that I heard here this week, and I wanted to share with you guys. I, I was it's it's always a good time, you know. I, I get people to say, you know, can I bring my my ATV UTV down? Where can I ride? You know, hopefully this will be one of those places where you guys can come and, and have fun and, and uh, have some off-road trails. It looks like it offers some really good views and things like that. So, Something else to keep in mind if you're in the area, they're building something new and fantastic every, God, it seems like, it seems like every month around here, but it's not that extreme. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to, we're going to get back to work and I'm going to quit rambling on. So stick around, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.